I have in front of me the Odyssean Progressive Hybrid-like um, terrestrial box. Basically, it's a T2 slash combo box. It's suitable for use either with um, the terrestrial channels uh, here in Ireland, uh, as in Serview, or also in the UK for free view. So, um, what, what do you get here exactly? Well, there's an outer box here. You get a power unit. Uh, it has 5 volt, 1.5 amp output on it. Uh, a remote control that's quite good in terms of range and angle. Uh, a set of treble A batteries to go with it. And we have these sticky pads here, which we'd use for actually mounting this. Uh, if we wish that we could say, actually stick it and hide the, the box out of sight, particularly if we're using it in conjunction with a, a flat screen TV. What I'm going to do now is I'll just give an overview of the interface on the box and talk a little bit about it there. That's probably what is most interesting. So we've come along and we've just added it directly on uh, to our aerial here and we've programmed in the main channels. And we can see our, the, the first two channels, our, our, uh, our RT1 and 2, have been indicated as high definition channels so we can handle it there. If I choose to exit out from there, I can actually come along, hit the EDV button and just bring up here 7 day EPG. So if I arrow up and down, I can go through the channels that are coming on. It's giving uh, the beginning and the start and time. And if I wanted to, I can actually use the fast forward button over and back. It'll bring us through the seven day EPG of what's coming up uh, in the coming days, etc. So it's really, really uh, impressive from that perspective. Um, one of the features on it is you can add on a USB stick to either use the media player on it, which is quite impressive, or also to add recording facilities on it. So we actually come along and we just look um, at the bottom here, one of the options is a timer and what we can do there is we can actually set it to record um, at a certain time uh, so a, a future event uh, we can record onto it. So overall the interface on it is quite um, uh, user friendly. So um, the, the, the manufacturer on this box is Odyssean, so they're, um, they're popular here both in Ireland and the UK because we've managed to build up the brand quite well over the last uh, year or two, but they're, um, they're an incredibly strong brand in Germany in particular. Some of their high-end products come with five-year warranties. This is sort of the lower-end stuff, but still in terms of reliability, probably some of the best products we stock. The return rates in these definitely less than 1%. Um, so in terms of the unit itself, if we just look at the front of the unit, I might actually just still come to the front to discuss this. Um, what we have here, just grab this pen, and I'll just say here, so we have our sensor here for actually operating the box. And what we have here then is the USB port. So we can, that, that's where we can add on our USB stick for programming up, etc. And just grab it and rotate it here. And just look at the back here. So we have our terrestrial input here. Um, we have a HDMI output. We have the ability to add on an IR sensor here. Um, so what we could do is we could have, uh, if we added on a, a unit like that, it allows us to... Um, 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 you know, hide this out of the way and put a sensor in so we could work it through an IR sensor, uh, which can be a popular option. We've uh, an AV output here, so if you have an older TV that has a SCART or an RCA, we can use a 3.5 millimeter the RCA lead and convert it over. And we also have a 5 volt DC input on it, okay? Um, so again, the key points on this is it's, a, it's suitable for both Serview and Freeview, and um, it's a quality brand. Uh, very low levels of return and it's available with free delivery from freetv.ie.